Hey everybody, welcome to Life is Beautiful. I'm Anthony, and today we're gonna to be doing another hop overview. This is the second one on my channel where we go through, we do a deep dive on a particular hop varietal's historical narrative, its purpose and utilization within brewing, as well as its sensory characteristics. Today we're gonna to be doing a deep dive into another noble hop, and this one is a bit interesting. It's a bit of an outcast, a little bit of an outsider, but it definitely holds its own. Today we're gonna to be talking about the famous Saz hop. It originated in the Czech town of Jatets around the 7th or 8th century. Like all other noble hops, Saz is a descendant of a wild growing land race of hops that was spreading throughout most of Western and Central Europe. And it was cultivated and harvested and harnessed in the town of Zatek in the Czech Republic, where it was able to develop its own regionally exclusive characteristics that still makes it famous still to this day. Now, interestingly, it is also the only noble hop to originate outside of Germany. However, that is a point of contention and of much debate, and it's something that I'm gonna have to cover in a whole nother video, so, uh, just know that as of right now, it is the only noble hop grown outside of Germany, and uh, that's a debated point of discussion. The original Saz variant had bright red vines. Because of this bright red colors, it was known as Jatek Red. In the early days, farmers were able to sell Saz for nearly twice the amount of other green vine competitors. And that's because so many people were so impressed and so overwhelmed by its huge aromatic punch. In fact, Bohemian King Charles IV was constantly regarded as praising them as being a superior hop, which caused brewers and drinkers alike to seek out products made with them. Saz was actually one of the first hops to ever receive a seal of protection to guarantee its quality and its point of origin. And anyone trying to fake that or uh, manipulate it in any way to be able to lessen the quality of the product were facing severe consequences from the official Bohemian government. Interestingly, in 2007, Saz was also one of the first hops to ever receive official protection from the European Union. Now, unfortunately, as cool as it would be to have just some bright, fiery red bind hops growing everywhere, it has unfortunately suffered some side effects of evolution and selective cultivation. Over the past thousand years, it has lost its red touch and is mostly a solid green growing vine now. But that change was necessary, and it was all because of the works of Dr. Oswald. Dr. Carl Oswald was a scientist who specifically focused on increasing the survivability of hops to make them uh, resistant to disease and mildew and mold and just better reliable hop crops. And he did a lot of selective breeding and a lot of uh, cloning, choosing the strongest binds to move forward. And just unfortunately, over time, they lost their red color, but it also enhanced its survivability and it enhanced its sensory characteristics and its acid and uh, oil contents. Unfortunately, there was a massive fire in Jatets and it destroyed a lot of the early documentation of its first cultivation and so much of its history, including the work of Dr. Carl Oswald, at least some of it, and it was just lost to time. So a lot of Saz's early history is just completely gone. Now, as far as its utilization goes, Saz is one of the most renowned hops in the entire world. It is the backbone of some of the world's biggest beer brands like Stella Artois, Budweiser, and brands like Pilsner Urquell that have been world renowned as being some of the best. As I mentioned, Saz is primarily used as an aromatic hop. It ranges in the lower end of the registry, coming in at 2.5% alpha acid. It can get up to your high threes and fours, but it's certainly on the lower end. Saz is commonly regarded for being delicate, but it's earthy, it's dirty, it's floral, muddled spices. It is just a beautiful hop. It's the hop you want to put in beers that don't really want to showcase hops. More interestingly, most beers who are brewed with Saz hops oftentimes see an extension of their shelf lives. And that's because Saz has an 
uncommonly large presence of polyphenols within its oil content. So if you ever want to brew a beer that is intended for extended cellaring or aging or whatever, Saz might be a good uh, thing for you to look into. In my opinion, Saz sounds like the perfect top for pretty much all European style brewing. And if you ever want to dive into European hops or brew a beer that utilizes European hops, Saz sounds like the prime candidate. But if European hop flavors and European beer styles aren't necessarily your flavor, you could try some of Saz's descendants. They have been frequently used in hop breeding programs and have created some of the most interesting and unique South Pacific hops like Motueka and Rakao. So with that being said, Saz hop can be pretty much used in any beer style. It is a classic. It is just one of the most utilized hops ever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. And I hope you learned something from it, most importantly. Thank you very much for the suggestion. If anybody has a suggestion for anything they would like me to cover, whether it's another hop varietal, whether it's a beer style, whether it's a specific beer, whether it's a brewing technique, whatever, let me know. I will cover it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed. And remember, like, comment, subscribe, and there's a story in every bottle, and that life is beautiful. Cheers, my friends.